Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you doing today? <laughs> so, <laughs> as the title that brought you here implies, uh, I went to the last of the local Hobby Lobby stores. I, disclaimer, <laughs> disclaimer, um, I did not expect to find anything, but since, uh, since we're watching a video, since I did a video, obviously I found something. Um, these are the Hobby Lobbies. So I already told you the stories of the Hobby Lobby that way. The Hobby Lobby now that I, I now love that way. <laughs> uh, this is the story of the two Hobby Lobbies that way. Um, that had started their, they, Damon had called for me and they had started their clearance towards the end of last week, which I had been working. Uh, so I knew that I was missing. Um, and I figured that, I figured that pretty much everything that I wanted was the stuff that everybody wanted. So it would be gone. <laughs> and, uh, um, I was pleasantly surprised. Let me, let me say that. Um, I'm going to show you what I got. Some of it is, well, all, all of it's pretty much duplicate stuff. Let me start out by saying that. Um, because, I don't know how to put this. Because um, I didn't, because I've been being careful in the respect of, I didn't want to get too much and I didn't want to get too many different things. And I didn't want to go like, like my first year, I, I've explained before and just been like, oh my gosh, everything I sale. Oh my gosh, this was $9 and now it's a dollar. I want it, you know, and it, I didn't want to do that. Um, there were a few different things this year that I knew that I loved and that I knew that I would use and that I knew that, well, I don't know that they're getting rid of, but unless they completely, completely um, replace all of the colors of, then it's safe to assume they're discontinuing the line. And uh, I knew that I would not have like a future possible possible chance of getting different colors in the future. And um, I really am in love with some of these yarns. So that being said, <laughs> I'll show you per store what I got. Um, the other quantities that I got from the other two stores are up in my new yarn room so I don't remember you'll, you'd have to watch my other two videos this is I know part three of my Hobby Lobby haul it may be called Hobby Lobby haul insanity by now um, but it's not the insanity that it was the last few years certainly not the first year of my sailing so let's just get into the yarn and out of the yakking shall we um uh, yarn yakking. Hi, Rose. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't trademark that. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, one of the things that I was looking for, as you may know, was the Chloe yarn. At the first store I went to, um, I found one. I found it in this royal orchid color. And, well, I found multiples, but none of the clearance ones. This was the only clearance one, and it was the Royal Orchid, and it's in these beautiful orchid tones, as the name implies. Beautiful purples, beautiful light purple, a darker purple, a middle purple orchid tones. And uh, the only reason, the only reason that I got this <laughs> was because it was um, not marked at all. Um, I had to double check. I knew that I had gotten two of these. Uh, in my, I think my first video, I showed you, I think, two of these. Um, and I double checked. If you haven't noticed at your Hobby Lobbies, if you've gone, like say you clear out an area or you see an area cleared out that's been on clearance, they've marked the little card that's inside with a D. Uh, and this colorway I checked. Oh, 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 it almost, it almost killed my Demogorgon. Sorry, Demogorgon. It almost took you out there, buddy. <laughs> you almost had a yarn catastrophe. Anyway, not the Demogorgon, the Demodog. Sorry, the Demogorgon was behind him and he was quite safe. Anyway, um, 
it wasn't marked off, but it, it had the little D, so I double-checked that that was one, even though, like, I knew in my brain that it was one that I would gotten. Um, so I asked about it, and she said, oh, yeah, I saw that earlier. I meant to mark it down, and I'm like, oh, I'm so glad that you didn't until now. Thank you for marking it down, you know. So she marked it down, and I quite happily took it with me. So I got a Chloe yarn. Yay! Which means I got three of these, which is a pretty decent-sized collection of them um, because Chloe has got... Uh, 270 yards of a, I think this is the one they're classifying as a four weight yarn. Didn't we not say before? Yeah, they say it's a four weight yarn. I feel like it's more of a three weight yarn. It's a roving and it does go a little thicker and thinner, but I still feel at its, um, basic size, its average size, it's about a three weight. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that. I think any of the Chloe's that I have collected uh, will make a really nice shawl. So, yay. Um, very happy to have that. I feel better having three instead of two. <laughs> um, and then the other thing that I found, which I was shocked to find, um, let me just say, because I was shocked. I, I found some of these in every single store that I went to. So, spoiler for the next store. Um, but you saw them in my last two videos and, um, I, I told David today, they're not going to be there. Um, let me ask you guys. So like, I know that, you know, like my, one of my favorite yarns is Scarfy yarns. And I know that, you know, that in my opinion, I have compared these to Scarfy yarns, but, um, I found a lot of the fireplace comfort still there. And I mean a lot, um, like, in my opinion, I, I thought it would be gone. In my opinion, this was a lot of it. Um, just so I, like, to ask you guys watching a question. Um, do you guys not like this? Is this not a favorite? Um, I'm just, I'm just curious um, if the popular opinion is that it's not. Um, and maybe it's not. I know not everything is popular for everyone. But, like, I guess I assumed this would be one of the most popular um, not, not that because of my taste it is the most popular by any means, but, um, there's, I don't know, they're just, they're all, like, they have such marled colors, like, if you like bright colors, this doesn't have just one, it has a whole rainbow in it, you know, and if you like, um, like the natural colors, and this doesn't have just one, it has a whole palette of them in it, you know, like, I don't know, I just assumed that it would be gone. And let me tell you how many I found of these. Um, so you've seen this one, which um, I guess certain colors, either they didn't stock very many of or they were sold out quickly. Because like I, I still didn't find that purple one that I was annoyed that I bought one of, came home, found I didn't have any more of, which I thought I did. <laughs> um... It'll mix with something else, though. It'll be fine. Or it'll make, like, a hat on its own. It'll be fine. Or it'll be a giveaway. It'll be fine. Um, but this one, besides from the purple one, maybe, is probably my favorite. It's hard to pick a favorite out of them, honestly. I really, really do like the I like this one a lot, though. Um, it is the color Mod, M-O-D-D. And, like I said, I would have named this, like caribbean sunset or something it's so pretty but it's like a sunset over like these just beautiful blue waters i think it's gorgeous i think i had gotten at, at the first store i'd gotten like nine of these and i want to say at the second store even i had gotten maybe five or six of these maybe seven i'd gotten a lot of these definitely these are going to be a blanket because i have gotten a lot of these um, at this store, they had them, obviously, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven of these, you guys. I could not believe that. Seven of them. Um, so needless to say, I, I got them. Um, I was being very picky, again, about only getting some extras of the stuff that I got, but I can't, I could not resist these. I don't think they're going to have them again. I want to make all the things out of these. I think they're so pretty. Those Gramps um, pocket shawls that I, I will make into a pattern one day, but I definitely have something else in the works right now. Like I can say with certainty that I do, upcoming. Um, 
they're made from these. So, like, I guess if you don't have these, maybe scarfy. I mean, you can use whatever you want, of course, when, once the pattern's out. But um, if you wanted to use, like, something similar, uh, maybe I'll make one with scarfy, I guess, now. Just since that's still out. <laughs> but, uh... I didn't. I never pictured Hobby Lobby doing away with this. I really hope they're not. I keep showing you the same one, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. All right, so I got that. Um, I did show you this one just a second ago. So this is the color Ivy Grown. And that one is just gorgeous, too. Um, this, to me, is like a camouflage color. Like camo. Your friend. That's like one of my favorite colors is camo. Um, I have like, I don't know five or six different like camo pants that I wear a lot I'm sure people think I wear like the same pair of pants all the time um I suppose they're in a few different shades so maybe they don't but <laughs> right that's that that's that girl <laughs> but it's just got these gorgeous different like brown tones natural tones inside of this ivy green color it's so pretty um and I found, this was uh, not at one of the first stores, and then it was at the second store. So I think I only got four or five of these comparative. I know I say only, but compared to the other one, much less in quantity. So I was happy, happy, happy to find these at this store. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So I, I got six of these. And uh, a couple of them, a couple of them were a little bit worse for wear, but nothing, nothing terrible, to be honest. Nothing terrible. I don't think anything I got was terrible, terrible. I had to operate on a, a couple of things of yarn from the next store, but not so bad. And then there was one other color left, which I totally grabbed also. You already know the answer to that. Um, this one is in the color Sweater Weather, and it's just these um, cool tones of black, grays, whites, it's so pretty, so pretty. Um, I love it. I think this would make a beautiful uh, Gramps pocket shawl. I love it. I love it a lot. I keep wanting to say Gramps cardigan, but that's already a pattern by someone else and very much more talented than I am. I can't remember who does it, but I know I've seen somebody make it and uh, it's beautiful. But yeah, I love it. Um, and I found four of these. Four of these. Yes. So I found four of those. And then I found one other thing that I brought home with me. Um, I found... I have had um, actually a couple people offer to send them, which I'm still... I will happily accept because uh, I have a couple things in mind to do with them happily 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 accept because if you remember uh this was one of my biggest uh sadnesses and regrets that i only found one of at the first store and no others um but i found <laughs> i found three of these babies these are the sweet minis and this is the color it's fall y'all because i'm pretty sure it's called that instead of anything like halloween-ish even though they're Halloween colors, because uh, Hobby Lobby, I don't think, does... They always do, like, harvest and fall themed things, but not actual Halloween things, it seems. Um, but, yeah, it is definitely Halloween colors anyway. So, I found three of them. But I could definitely, definitely still use the extras um, that any of you were already so kind enough to say that you would send. <laughs> definitely um i have big plans <laughs> um especially with halloween season upon us i know it's really not but for me it is <laughs> um and if i didn't say if i didn't say um these were normally 429 they were a dollar seven there was also another one at both of the stores i went to today that were the um it was like a tan a yellowish brown and a light cream and I thought that one was really really pretty it was almost like a like a mod vintage set but first of all there was only like one at each of the stores and second of all I do not need to start like collecting another color set when I was I already I didn't need to do that didn't need to do that so I did not I passed on that 
Um, the fireplace comforts are normally $8.99, and these were all $2.24. I'm going to show you that again. Here, I'll show you a different one <laughs> while I'm talking about it. <laughs> um, and the Chloe was normally $6.99, and it was marked down to $1.74. So pretty. Love, love them. I was so happy to find them. So it wasn't um, the biggest in um, variety from that store, but I was happy to find it because I uh, like now I have I feel like I can definitely make uh, the Gramps pocket shawl even with this one. I feel like if I wanted to, I could do that and a blanket with this one and the same with this one. Um, just very happy, very happy to have found them. Um, even if I got rid of like half of my yarn, which is a scary thought. I don't even want to think that. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, babies. I'll never get rid of you like that. <laughs> Some of them I will, but don't tell them that. Um, probably nothing from right here. This is where I'm always looking like when you guys, when I'm talking to you guys and my attention's like just drifting and drift, you know, like, uh, it's because, um, in this room where I film, I have this some shelves right here that are like all sort of like my my very favorite stuff and my attention just gets drawn to it and I'm just like lovingly staring at it. When this room is finished, I'm sure I'll be doing that over here too cuz I'll have um like my David Harbour and my Bon Jovi pictures will be up over here and I'll be like <laughs> never know with me. You never know. Anyway, I am going to pause this video and I'm going to put this away <laughs> and get the yarn out from the other Hobby Lobby. So we'll just make this one video instead of two. And um because I actually have more videos planned this week and we went to a different store besides Hobby Lobby too. So um I'll be right back. One moment. Okay, I am back. Sorry. Um well I, it was like one second for you guys, right? <laughs> well, anyway, so then we went to the second one in the same town. And that's the one that's usually like everybody beats me to that one. So I stopped going to that one first and just expected to have nothing there. And um, I was still super pleasantly surprised to see things there. Uh, I found things there that I didn't expect to see even. Um... I'll show you what you very obviously expect first. Um, firstly, I found more fireplace comfort. I found uh, the sweater weather again, which you just saw. The lovely blacks and uh, whites and grays. I found one, two, three, four. I found five of those again. So what does that make for today? That makes a total of nine for today. Um, and then I found the... Uh, ivy the ivy grown again i found four more of those so that makes nine of those also i found five at the last store um and then i found two colors at this store that were not at the last store uh i found this one which i found at my first store last week um this one is called melodic mocha and it's some more beautiful uh, neutral color tones, browns, uh, tans. There is a little strip of either very dark brown or black in there. Very, very dark brown if it's brown. But uh, so it's just a lot of natural looking colors. It's very, very beautiful. Pretty convinced that is black. It is, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's black. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very pretty. Like, oh, that's a pretty coppery brown right there. Love that. Um, I had, I can't remember how many I had of these last week. Maybe it was seven from the from the first store or so. Um, I found three more at this store. And these were the ones that I had to operate on. So I found this one that looked like almost, almost perfect to me. And, and then I found these. Which, believe it or not, this is after the operation because all of this was hanging into the wrapper and the whole center part was pulled out of it. So I had to 
pull it back in and I just I felt very bad for this poor yarn <laughs> but it was coming home with me so it had to get put back together um, and then this one wasn't in quite as bad a shape but it was also had to be uh, put back together a little bit but yeah so I had three of those and then um, one that I hadn't seen in any of the other stores at all was this one which was waiting okay it's called waiting weather it's this really pretty it's like um blues there's black in it and grays uh like the color that's marled through it are the neutrals like blacks grays whites that's being a little bit blown out right now um and the interesting thing it's almost like a like to me this is like weather right like a hurricane or a storm over the ocean or something like that um, the interesting thing about this is um, one of the two stores in this city, like I have some, it's hidden behind uh, Dustin and Friends right back here, but I have some of this yarn that I got last year on clearance. They clearanced this color out last year, but my store clearanced it out this year, my other store. Um, so... I mean, win-win. I got the rest of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was um, surprised, confused, and excited. I don't know if the sale was supposed to happen with it last year or this year, because like I said, I didn't see this in any of the other stores. I didn't see it in any of the other stores last year or this year. I only saw it in one store last time and one store this time. So I'm not sure which sale it actually belonged in. <laughs> Or if they, like, gave them the choice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that went. And I, I don't think I've seen this in anybody's videos either. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot of Fireplace Comfort, though, which is why I was asking if, I like, is this not a big favorite of any? Is it just me? Am I the one, like, happily, like, bathing in this, like, a bathtub of this stuff? And you guys are like, okay, good luck with that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is just me, but I'm pretty happy with it. So, okay. <laughs> Thanks for leaving it. <laughs> um, anyway, so I got that. Um, and then from the first store ever that I went to, I had gotten one color of this yarn and the store had one skein of this one color. So I just, I picked it up cause it was a dollar. Um, this was normally $4.29. It was reduced to $1.07. So I just picked it up because there was one of them. And it was the same color I had, like I just said. Um, this is Stripe Hype, which is pretty similar to this. Um, it seems to be a little bit lighter weight. This one is listed as a 4. This one is listed as a 4. But... I would call this, since I always compare this to Scarfy, I would say they could get a, they could probably get away with calling this a five, because this is kind of like the, I always call Scarfy a, fi, a four, even though they call it a five. So this is a bit thicker of a four. And I would call this a lighter four. It's not a three, but I, I would call this more of a, like a true four or however you want it. Like, it, I feel it's lighter. Let me see if I can get them both together. Like, I do feel that the stripe pipe is a little bit lighter. Hopefully that's focusing, because with them both up here, I can't see my camera very well. <laughs> but um, anyway, neither here nor there. Both of them have, um, like, the content on this one has wool in it. It's 70% acrylic and 30% wool. The content in this one is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So this one, content-wise, is um, is basically scarfy. Um, it is in the color, sorry, had a brain fart for a second there, mustard gray. Um, and again, there was a lot of colors left. There was only one of this color and there was only a couple of some of the other colors but there's a lot of colors left so like I don't know is it the wool is it the roving is it the actual colors of everything like this I don't know is everybody in my town like oh my god Heather would love this I'm gonna leave it for her <laughs> 
I know that's not it, but <laughs> but I'm glad they did. <laughs> I really, really like it. I can't wait to see this worked up. Like, I'm very happy it was left anyway. So I've got that one, just the one. And then um, the last thing that I got that I was very surprised to find was they still had quite a bit left of, um, so all of the colors, at least in my stores, of uh, Arabella is going on clearance. And um, Arabella is normally $4.99. They're on clearance for $1.24. Um, I had two colors of this that had been on clearance last year or the year before. I had the Coral, I want to say it was called like Coral Dreams. It was like, all of them have white in them, if you didn't know. Um, mixed with something else. Um, this particular one, cor the coral one, was mixed with like oranges, as you may expect. Um, to me, it wasn't as corally as it was orange. Like I mean, it's just being a picky on my part with the coloring, but it was um, a bunch of different orangey shades because it went quite dark orange. Um, and that's what I made this really cute. Like it was basically just sh a shrug. It was sleeves, and it, it went down to like here. It was. It was basically just a shrug um and it's the comfiest softest thing i love it so much um and then i have one it's something leather and it's the same it's just shades of brown mixed in with the white that i intended to make another one with or mix it with my last couple oranges but i think i gave the oranges away in a giveaway pretty sure i did um which is fine i'm glad they're rehomed um, so, but they won't be going in with the leather anyway. The leather, though, I think might be going in with these. Uh, this is Foxtrot Fella. Um, and I had gotten some from the second store I went to last week. And this has got these beautiful colors. Like, there's another beautiful orange deep in there. There's orange. There's, like, this, like, mod green beautiful like yellowy green like avocado-y green just very vintage looking this whole skein is there's uh gray mixed in with it it's so 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 pretty i bet worked up it's just gonna be like beautiful um i can't wait to work up for this uh and i think i think i'm gonna make another shrug with it <laughs> Or maybe like add some length to it if I, since I have a few more of these now and I want to add the brown to it and make a f more full length sweater maybe. Because um, like I had said in my one video like I'm losing a little weight but I still like my sweaters to be bigger. So I want to make sure I have enough because <laughs> I won't be able to get any more of it. <laughs> well actually maybe I will because Lion Brand has a yarn like this that I don't think they got rid of. So maybe I will. But anyway... Um, I think that's everything that I got, and I think that basically draws a conclusion to the 2022 Hobby Lobby clearance craziness, for me anyway. Um, so after, like, week, what are we on, like, basically week three of, since the first markdowns were getting reported, um, I know last week you guys had said that you are still waiting. I'm still getting some comments on some of my Hobby Lobby videos saying that uh, you're still hopeful that they will do them because they have not started. But um, by the time this video comes out, like, uh, have you guys hit any Hobby Lobby sales yet? Um, what kind of stuff? That That is what I really want to know. Like, what kind of stuff have you gravitated towards? Um, Maybe in your area, you are the one who's hoarding up the fireplace comfort. Or maybe nobody is. I don't know. Like, what kind of stuff have you went for? I know a lot of people wanted the cotton. I know a lot of people wanted the 44th Street because that's um, selling all the colors out of that. Um, what else was just gone in my areas? Um, almost all of the, the little three set ones were gone from the stores. I was very surprised to find three of the Halloween ones in my first store today. Um, yeah, what else? What else? What have you guys, what, what was your big, like, did you go in going, this is what I know I want? Or um, if I find this, I'll be so happy. Like, what was your big ticket item there? I'm, I was just curious, like, what, what were you the happiest with? Um, but yeah, let me know. And, um, 
I, I'm pretty happy with my 2022 haul. Hopefully you guys are too. And I, I'm going to have to do some giveaways to get rid of, to make some room for, for these guys. <laughs> but, all right. Um, I will talk to you soon, guys. Um, I love you. <laughs> Bye. Maybe, maybe you'll be with me. Hmm.